Hi there everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time and again it does not matter what sport you're betting on we have everything for you right here. So before we get into our video for today I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section right here which has all the great tools that you need to make your picks successfully. So the NFL season is set to kick off for week one and we have a full slate of games on tap. So let's not waste any time. We're going to get started and take a look at five of these matchups for the first weekend. So take a, take a look down here at what we have. Arizona and Tennessee. Now again, we're not looking at all these games. Just take a look at five of them. Jacksonville and Houston. The first game we want to look at is the Minnesota Vikings and the Cincinnati Bengals. The Vikings are coming off a disappointing 7-9 season and missed playoffs. The Bengals were last in the AFC North with a 4-11-1 record. Minnesota is coming in with uh, dead status, and Cincinnati is averaged down. You can see on the power rankings indicator that the Vikings, after a poor preseason, they are at plus 6, and Cincinnati is at plus 15. You can see the uh, odds on the game here are 1.5. 5 for Minnesota and 2.42 for Cincinnati and that's a two a three and a half point uh, road favorite for Minnesota and the Bengals are a 3.5 home underdog the over and under for this game is at 47.5 if we look at the the uh, scores predictor we see that the Bengals with a 29 to 25 edge in that category on the scores prediction but the confidence in prediction is only 48.2% so it is a little bit less than the toss of a coin. I do believe, though, here that what we're seeing is that the Vikings are the better overall team. Even though they're playing on the road, they are the better overall team. And I believe that they will come away with the win. And I think with the, uh, the score prediction of 29 to 25, even though it's less than 50% chance, that's high enough over the line of 47.5 that I feel confident to bet the over on this one. So the over and the Vikings to win on the road and cover the spread. Jets and Carolina Panthers. Philadelphia Eagles and Atlanta Falcons. This is an interesting matchup despite the fact that both teams were very poor last year. The Eagles 4-11-1. The Falcons were 4-12. But traditionally these two teams have been pretty good football teams. Just on down times of weights. So what do we think is going to happen here? Well, both teams enter with dead status. The odds have... Atlanta at 1.62 to 2.276, which is a 3.5 point favorite for Atlanta. The over-under on this one is set at 48.5. The scores prediction has it very close to that total, with Atlanta winning the game with a 28 to 20 score with nearly 90% confidence in the prediction. Let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see here that both teams are at plus 5. So you can see it's a pretty evenly matched game. Let's see if there's anything here on the uh, movement of the money line. So we'll take a look at the money line right now. You can see it started at uh, 1.51 and see now it's at 1.62. So it has moved some. It hasn't moved a tremendous amount, but it definitely has moved some. And so take that into consideration when you make this bet. I am thinking, though, that in this case, I believe that the Philadelphia Eagles will come up with a road upset. It's just a gut feeling that I have based on what I've seen so far and the way that Philadelphia has responded to new head coach Nick Sirianni. I believe that the Philadelphia Eagles will have a good chance of winning this one on the road, but I would avoid the over-under. <clears throat> Pittsburgh Steelers and Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a very good matchup. <clears throat> the Steelers... Won the AFC North last season with a 12 and 4 record, and the Bills won the AFC East with a 13 and 3 mark. The Steelers entered the play with the edge on the power ranking indicator of plus 31 to plus 29. If you look at the uh, team strength oscillator, you see that Buffalo is burning hot and the Steelers are averaged down. The odds for this one, though, is a heavy favorite for Buffalo. You see 1.34. 3.22 odds and a 6.5 home favorite for Buffalo. Well, what about the scores predictor? Well, the scores prediction has the Bills winning by a 36 to 18 margin with confidence in prediction at 71%. So that's a large margin and it kind of corresponds to the spread here. The spread is very large. 
it's almost a touchdown favorite for Buffalo. Uh, let's take a look at, at the um, money line, see what that has done, that has changed at all. It's getting closer and closer to the game. Now you see here, it's pretty, pretty much steady here. It's at 1.34. It did go down to 1.36 briefly, but there you go. Right now, it is still at 1.34. I believe that the Bills will win the game and cover the spread. As far as the over and under, the line right now is set 48.5 with the scores prediction at 54. I think it's going to be a high scoring game and I would bet the over. Chargers in Washington. San Francisco in Detroit. Here's another good matchup, Seattle and Indianapolis. Seattle was once again the cream of the crop in the NFC West last season, coming in at 12-4, and, and the Colts were a wildcard team finishing second in the AFC South, coming in at 11-5. Seattle is average right now, status, and the Colts are burning hot. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Colts were on an upward trend, doing well in the preseason, although it is only preseason, but on an upward trend at plus 23. And Seattle was on a downward trend at plus 10. But you take this with a little bit of grain of salt in the preseason. But that's where they're standing right now. As far as the odds for the game, you see the Seattle Seahawks are a favorite. Uh, the odds of 1.67 to 2.18. And what does the score prediction show? The score prediction uh, did show here as we go up here. There we go. The Colts had a 28 to 23 margin of win with 67% confidence, which is kind of a uh, controversial type of uh, a uh, score, considering that Seattle is a favorite, a two and a half point favorite. But again, uh, that is based off of uh, statistical models and not really what the bookies or the fans at this moment really feel about the game. Having said that, the over-under is set at 49.5. And I'm getting a good feeling here for the Colts to win at home as the underdog. But let's take a look quick at the money line to see if anything has changed. Uh, there we go. The line moves. There we go. So you can see here the line was at minus 1.69. It has moved up to minus 1.67. It's actually been a pretty good amount of movement in the line. It went down, stayed down for a little bit of time, but then went up, back down, back up again. So you see there has been some movement in the line, but I like the Colts to win at home. <clears throat> the final game we want to look at then is the Green Bay Packers and New Orleans Saints. The Packers were 13-3 last season, and the Saints were 12-4. Seattle is ice cold down at the moment, while the Saints are average up. On the power rankings indicator, you can see that both teams, yeah, not not so great at the moment. Again, it was just based off of the preseason, which really means nothing. Saints at plus 13 and Green Bay at plus 9. Packers are 4.5 point favorite here. The over-under right now is at 50.5. So let's compare that to the scores prediction. You see the scores prediction has this as a very tight matchup. Packers 29, Saints 28 with 68% level of confidence. I do believe this is going to be a, a high-scoring game. I would bet the over. I would not bet for the Saints to win at home, though. I really believe that the Packers have enough to win this one on the road, but I would not have them cover. I think the Saints will cover. I think this is a field goal, a field goal contest, and you see the line is four and a half, so that means the Saints will cover. The Packers will not. So bet for the Saints to win. Excuse me, bet for the Packers to win, but for the Saints to cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are the matchups for, for week one of the NFL football season. Enjoy the games, happy betting, and we will see you next week.